Hello dear students hope you are doing good welcome to youtube channel learn with kizla now this is the formula of amount that is a is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power n where a is the amount p is the principal r is the rate of interest per annum n is the number of years now always remember out of these four quantities that is a p r and n in every question at least three values will be given to us and we need to find the value of fourth quantity so in the same way these two questions we will solve in this video where both the principal and amount is given to us as well as the time period is also given to us and we have to find the rate of interest so let's start with the first question at what rate percent will a sum of rupees 640 be compounded to rupees 774.40 in 2 years let us study this question first they are asking at what rate percent will a sum of rupees 640 that means sum means principal so principal is rupees 640 be compounded to rupees 774.40 this is our amount in 2 years so time period is 2 years and we have to find the rate of interest we shall use the formula of amount that is a is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power n we are th out of four quantities three quantities are given to us and we shall find the fourth quantity that is rate of interest now let's start solving our question so principal is rupees 640 amount is rupees 774.40 time period is 2 years and rate of interest we have to find we shall apply the formula of amount that is a is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power n now let us put the values in the formula so amount that is 774.40 is equal to principal that is 640 in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole square because time period is 2 years so n will come 2 now further we shall cross multiply and write 774.40 upon 640 is equal to 1 plus r upon 100 whole square now let us remove decimal first so we will get 100 in the denominator so accordingly we shall write 77440 upon 640 into 100 is equal to 1 plus r upon 100 whole square now for the zero and zero will get cancel and 7744 will get divided by 64 and we shall get 121 in the numerator so we shall write 121 upon 100 is equal to 1 plus r upon 100 whole square now since right hand side we have the power of square so in the left hand side also we have to make the power same that is square and we know that 11 square is 121 and 10 square is 100 so we shall write 11 by 10 whole square is equal to 1 plus r upon 100 whole square now further we can say when powers are equal bases are same so accordingly we shall write 11 by 10 is equal to 1 plus r upon 100 now we shall take 1 on the other side it will become minus 1 so we shall write r upon 100 is equal to 11 by 10 minus 1 and further when we'll take lcm we will get r upon 100 is equal to 1 by 10 now we shall cross multiply so r is equal to 100 by 10 is equal to 10%. So finally we got the rate percent as 10% per annum. So this is our final answer. Now let us take up second question. At what rate percent will a sum of rupees 64000 be compounded to rupees 68921 in 3 years? So this question is also same as the previous question. Here also they are asking at what rate percent? That means we have to find the r that is the rate percent per annum will a sum of rupees 64000 sum means principal so rupees 64000 is the principal be compounded to rupees 68921 that is our amount in 3 years so time period is 3 years now we shall use the formula of amount that is a is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power n where a is the amount p is the principal r is the rate of interest per annum and n is the number of years so over here three quantities are given to us and we have to find the fourth quantity so now let's start with the solution 
principal is given rupees 64000 amount is rupees 68921 time period is 3 years and we need to find the rate of interest so we shall apply the formula of amount that is a is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power n now we shall put the values so we shall write 68921 is equal to principal that is 64000 into 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power 3 because time period is 3 now we shall cross multiply so accordingly we shall write 68921 upon 64000 is equal to 1 plus r upon 100 whole cube now because we have raised to power 3 on the right hand side we need the power 3 on the left hand side also and we know that 41 cube is 68921 and 40 cube is 64,000. So we shall write 41 upon 40 whole cube is equal to 1 plus r upon 100 whole cube. Now we can say when powers are equal, bases are same. So we can write 41 upon 40 is equal to 1 plus r upon 100. Now we shall take 1 on the other side. It will become minus 1. So we shall write in the next step, r upon 100 is equal to 41 upon 40 minus 1. Now further we shall take LCM. So we shall get R upon 100 is equal to 1 by 40. As 41 minus 40 we will get 1. 1. So in the denominator we have 40. So 1 by 40. Now we shall cross multiply. R is equal to 100 upon 40 which is equal to 5 by 2 percent or we can say 2.5 percent. So basically rate of interest per annum has come 2.5 percent. So this is our final answer. So hope you have enjoyed learning these two questions where the principal and amount was given and we had to find the rate of interest. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.